Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the DualSense Edge wireless controller for the PlayStation 5. I'm absolutely excited to be unboxing this here on the channel today. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. It does go a long way. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you guys know me, I absolutely love the Xbox Elite Series controller. I think it's a fantastic controller and I've been super excited ever since Sony officially announced their version coming and this just launched a couple of weeks ago and I finally have it here today and I'm going to be unboxing here on the channel for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoy again hit that like button it does go a long way if you guys managed to pick one up or you guys are planning to pick one up let me know in the comments down below and if you guys aren't aware they actually do sell these on Amazon now so if you guys do want to pick one up I will definitely have one link down below in the description it is going to be my affiliate link so if you guys want to pick this up and support the channel you guys may do so so right here in front of the box we have a nice big picture of the DualSense Edge controller itself right there really nice we have the DualSense Edge wireless controller here on the left bottom text for PS5 pretty straightforward here on the side we have the contents included inside the box so right here we have the DualSense Edge controller USB braided cable, really nice, two standard CATs, two high dome CATs, two low dome CATs, two half dome back buttons, two level back buttons, connector housing, the carrying case, and an instruction manual. So we are getting some extra stuff, of course, with it being a pro controller, of course, we need all that good stuff. And then taking a look at the back here, we have more stuff. Perfect your gameplay, extra customizable controls, mappable back buttons, DualSense wireless controllers, features built in and replaceable stick modules which is really cool really important a lot of people have been saying that they've been getting stick drift with their ps5 controllers i personally haven't experienced this myself but i have seen a lot of people commenting on youtube videos that they have which is really cool if you guys can invest in this controller you can easily switch out the stick so that's really cool and i believe they cost like 10 bucks on the playstation store and I believe they will be selling them on Amazon as well if they aren't already. So you'll be able to switch them out really easily, really affordable without having to replace the whole DualSense uh, wireless controller yourself. So you do save some money there in the long run, which is really cool. And then we have another picture of the DualSense Edge controller right there looking real nice. I really love the color that they went with. It's not the actual white, how the original DualSense does come with. It's actually more of like a creamier color, if that makes sense which I'm super excited to look at it in person myself. So that's the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and actually crack it open and get ourselves inside, shall we? So taking a look at the top right here, we have tape as always. So let me get my unboxing tool right here as always. And let's actually rip through it. So opening the box, there we go. We'll take the box out within the box. Nothing else inside. We'll set that off to the side and here we go. Nice PlayStation logo right there with a nice big white box. We'll open it up and voila. We are greeted with a carrying case with a nice actual cloth covering it. Really nice, very premium feeling. I like that. So we'll take the carrying case out and there it is. Very nice white all around and then we'll actually lift this up because i do believe yep we do have our manual in here so that's all you get inside but we don't really need to look at that so we'll put everything back in here and we'll set that off to the side and here is the case itself we have the playstation logo right there i really like how they have the playstation logo here on the Zippers right there, really cool. You have the PlayStation symbols in the back right there, really awesome. The zipper feels really nice as well, it doesn't get stuck, so that's a really good sign. So let's actually open it all up and see it for ourselves. So it actually feels kind of heavy. Oh, well, the cables are right up here, so we have our braided cables and we have the controller right there with all of our accessories. Really exciting! So let's actually take the cables out right here so this is a usb type c braided cable and i believe it is a long cable as well because you guys actually will be needing this because 
I hear that the DualSense Edge controller is not really good with battery. I think you get like five or four hours. So not that much of a good battery, which sucks, but so you will be needing that. So we'll set that out to the side and we'll take out the controller itself. Boom, damn guys, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. The only thing that kind of does throw me off, I'll be honest, is the glossy trim right here around the sticks. I kind of wish it was the traditional kind of a matte color, but it is what it is. Feels really nice. We don't have the buttons right there in the back, which we will be attaching, but I do love how the D-pad and symbols right here do remind me kind of like the PSP buttons, which I really like. If you guys can see right here in the R2 and L2, hopefully the camera can zoom in or focus there. They have the PlayStation symbols there as well, which is used to actually have more of a grip. So you have more grip on your R2 and L2s, which is really cool. And you have the PlayStation symbols right there in the trackpad, which is really cool. They are kind of embroidered there. So that's really nice, a cool little touch. And then flipping it over to the bag, you guys can see, we have these buttons now, which is Really exciting. This is why I love the Xbox Elite controller. You guys can actually have it where your R2 and L2 buttons take less travel time to actually, you know, work. So if you guys put it all the way to the bottom, it's literally like no travel time, which I really love when I'm playing shooters like Apex, Call of Duty. That feature will definitely come in handy. So as soon as you're pretty much touching the button, you're already shooting, which is awesome i love that feature that's why i really love the xbox elite controller so i will definitely be taking advantage of that and in the back here you guys have those open things so you guys can actually put your back mappable buttons you have a release button right there as well so really cool and i just absolutely love how this feels in the hand the color is awesome all the black all the white it looks clean it looks sleek so we'll set that off to the side and we'll take a look at everything else we got in here. So, of course, we have those dome sticks there as well, which are really easy to replace. And then we have different back mappable triggers right here. So, we can actually put that to the back here. So, there it is. We have attached the back buttons right there. So, you guys can actually now use them without having to take your hands off the controller, which is really cool. And these are actually long. So, if you guys have shorter fingers they are kind of longer so you guys can actually easily press them so that's really cool so we can set that off to the side and then you have access to these smaller triggers right here in the bag way smaller compared to the other ones so you can just easily tap them they're not as long as these right here so that's really cool that you have a variety and these will probably most likely be the ones that i rock with really nice what's really cool is that you can actually have profiles with this controller and actually switch between them very easy super easy matter of fact and that's with these buttons so you can actually have three profiles and let's say you have a profile for modern warfare 2 like i do you can actually press down this button and hit circle and you will automatically go to your modern warfare 2 profile and if you guys actually want to go back to the regular profile the controller does have you can hit this button here again and hit triangle and then go to default settings so that's a really cool feature and I absolutely love that. So if you guys have different profiles for like Modern Warfare, Apex Legends, whatever games, you guys can save up to three, name them, and actually have different functions for them by just hitting this button right here and whatever you have it for. So you can have it for here and then circle, X or square or triangle. So that's a really awesome feature and I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that, especially when it comes down to my shooter games. So I absolutely love that. So the next item that we have here is going to be this cool little mechanism right here that you actually can use to connect to the controller and plug in the USB-C cable straight to it so it actually sticks to the controller. That way you guys actually have a more secure connection. I know the USB-C cable it's up already kind of is a secure connection but this actually locks it in so it actually doesn't move, doesn't take off which is really cool and I definitely will be using this like I said the DualSense Edge wireless controller doesn't have great battery life, so I'm definitely curious to see how many gaming sessions I can have without having to charge it. Especially when I do live stream, I do have like 
six hour live stream sometimes seven hours so I definitely will be needing to plug this in if I will be streaming and playing it for that long because I definitely know it will not last as long as my stream so very excited to be using this I'm very much looking forward to it but yeah guys that's gonna be my quick little unboxing for the DualSense Edge wireless controller very excited to be using it and testing it myself if you guys want to pick it up like I said I will be leaving it linked down below in the description for Amazon it does support me it is my affiliate link and yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did again Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. It does go a long way. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.